The Davidson Land Service's Earlston Sevens, which takes place every bank holiday Monday in early May, is one of the highlights on the Kings of the Sevens calendar. It's got the perfect setting, always attracts a healthy crowd to the Hoch, and this year there was no exception, as they enjoyed a feast of rugby and plenty of tries. Here's some of the highlights from round one. Watsonians beat Kelso and Melrose knocked out Hoik YM in the first two quarter final ties. But the match between Jed Forrest and Selkirk proved to be a cracker. Plenty of tries, including this from Jed's Jimmy McCraw. But Selkirk stormed back, and with the super quick Lee Jones in the team, any space given to him would be exploited. With support from Scott Hendry, this was a well worked try. And after the break, Jones put Selkirk further ahead with a superb individual effort. But Jed weren't going to give up and Gary Elder proved he had plenty of pace himself to run in for a try. And with time running out, Robert Hogg went over for the winning try to put Kings of the Sevens holders Selkirk out of the competition. Hoyt beat Edinburgh Ackies 22-21 in the other quarter-final match. And so to the first semi-final, Melrose against Watsonians. And it was Melrose who scored first with this. Grant Somerville, the teenager who certainly made his mark on the circuit this season, brought Watsonians back into the game and gave them the lead at the interval. And with more scores after the break, Watsonians, who won at the Earlston Sevens last year, would defend their title once again. It would be another local derby in the second semi-final, Jed Forrest against Hoyk, and Ewan Scott scored one of three tries for his team in this one.
But Hoyt proved to be too strong, fielding another excellent team for this tournament, including the brothers Graham and Stuart Hogg, and also Ryan Hogg, no relation. And in a feisty game, it was Hoyt who were always in control. And that meant a final between them and Watsonians. And it's Eddie Howe this time inside his own 22 a pick up and go how a good offload there to Blackwood Blackwood needs a bit of support Senna's in support and Senna's away we said he picked up a bit of a knock in the early rounds but he's shown a good clean pair of heels oh that's a great tackle there from Hogg but Senna's just done enough to cross the line and get the opening try way down that left hand side in the corner inside in and around their own 22 they need to pick up and go here to Hoyk because they're 5 points to nil down oh that's been a loose pass and Somerville's going to be in that was criminal there in the Hoyt 22 and Somerville was in space and he, I think he'd be as surprised as anybody just to latch on to that long loose pass there and Somerville has added a further five points to Watsonians lead they could really do with the next score they're surely going to be in the corner here this is a great opportunity to get back into this tie and it's that man that speedster for Hoyt the promising youngster Stuart Hogg who crashes over for an all important score because we didn't see those words that we come out with all so often when you have a team leading by 12 points to nil the phrase the next try is crucial is also often going to come out of a commentator's mouth there's a big crowd enjoying this one and it's Eddie Howe now turning defence into attack an opportunity for Watsonians perhaps to go with Howe and Blackwood has Blackwood got enough space has he got enough pace to go in the corner he stops and checks and it's Eddie Howe this time that's going to finish off the move there and that was an excellent Watsonian score there some experienced sevens players linking up well finding space Hoyk have won one occasion in this final gifted Watsonians a scoring chance could Watsonians be in for another score here they're peppering that line I think one or two players think they have scored they have in fact I think that perhaps was Graham Brown and yet again they pick up and go and now it's going to be I think this is Somerville down this uh, channel here he goes Somerville's going to be in down the wing he goes and once again showing his pace didn't have the full burners on there was able to conserve a bit of energy because he had that advantage in terms of distance on the on-rushing Hoyt player taking up valuable seconds in terms of Hoyt needing to get another score on the scoreboard they're surely in now and they deserve that because they've had many opportunities to score they finally crossed the line and that's the least they deserve because that was a good phase of play from Hoyt a chance for them to add yet more misery, pile more misery onto Hoyk and yet again they do just that anyhow this time again straight, simple, easy as you like kick from the ever reliable care the referee has seen enough, he's blown up and the full time whistle has gone, 45 points to 12 then for Watsonians we felt we let ourselves down badly uh, yesterday at uh, Gala Sevens so we just really want to come come back here because obviously we've put ourselves in a real fight for the King of the Sevens. Um, so we needed we, we knew we owed ourselves uh, a performance today and we're just delighted to, to get that today to get back on the road.